Mexican student invents rubber road pavement that self-repairs when exposed to rainwater, saving billions of dollars on costs for governments and construction companies all around the world. This is on the Mind Unleashed by Elias Marat, Creative Commons. A Mexican university student earned praise after creating a new rubber pavement made from recycled tires that regenerates every time it rains. How does it do this? Israel Antonio Briseno Carmona is the name of the man, a civil engineering student at the Autonomous University of Cojiala in Torreo, Mexico, created the new self-generating pavement as a means to address the problem of damaged pavement and potholes in cities where rain occurs regularly, as is the case across Mexico. The new invention could save billions of dollars in infrastructure costs for governments and construction companies all around the world, of course. The invention has already been, uh, has earned Briseno the national top spot in 2019 James Dyson Award winner for Mexico. And this is his image here. Briseno told Mexican news portal Expansión, what happens is that when it rains, water filters down to the sub base of the pavement, creating a fault. And when cars pass over it, it collapses. That's why I wanted to turn the main material that deteriorates into one that can recover. This project can allow water to instead be a source of maintenance for our roads. The young man devised the idea last year after his, he first experimented with a formula using asphalt before he tested a formula using recycled rubber from tires, which would make the roads both cheaper and more sustainable. In April, Briseno patented his new invention under the name PAFLEC, P-A-F-L-E-C. According to James Dyson Award website, rainwater would allow the rubber and various additives to become a putty-like substance whenever it comes into contact with water, allowing for the regeneration and physical chemical improvement of the pavement. Briseno hopes to team up with a construction company from whom he could get a 5% commission on whatever the total cost would amount to, but he has not yet formed such a relationship with any companies. A partnership remains necessary for the younger, young inventor to certify and tender such a project. To get over this hurdle, Briseno has advised devised a three-step plan that would allow him to turn his concept into reality. First, he plans to meet with an engineer who would be able to iron out any problems with the concept while simultaneously building a short strip of road that could be tested to ensure that it works as planned. And next, Briseno will seek certification for the new system through the National Construction Standardization Organization, ONNCCE, which he hopes can approve the formula for use in Mexico. Finally, the young inventor hopes to gain approval from national authorities so that he can authorize any contracts using the self-generating pavement. Briseno said, at present, there are already pavement types that can regenerate, but none use water as a means of regeneration, nor are they made of tires. Meanwhile, in Mexico, 80% of the pavement is asphalt and 20% is hydraulic cement, which remain poor material when considered the importance of the roads is the crucial infrastructure for society, he noted. However, as the Mind Unleashed previously reported, it was recently discovered that a simple act of driving may be polluting the environment in ways that were not previously known. According to a recent study, the single greatest source of microplastics in California's coastal waters comes from car tires as a result of their breaking down while driving. This is by Elias Marat on The Mind Unleashed. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.